Good evening, everybody. It's actually like good afternoon, but look how dark it is, and it is 6.15. And it's my first day back at the Magic Kingdom since Halloween day, since, since I left. So this is my first park even, speedy just the spring past few nights. Yes. There was something I was gonna say and well, tell all of you. Tyler's in the car. Did, we, did you text them? Yes. Okay. Um, Amanda and Neil, who's our friends that we've met through the YouTube channel, they're in the park. They're here on vacation, so we're gonna meet up with them. Then Castle Tees, Melissa and Rhett, they're in the park. There's a bunch of people. Yeah. Oh! We parked at Grand Floridian because we're gonna check out the, the gingerbread house is not Ooh. done being built, but it's being built. It's gonna be built. smelt so delicious. <gasps> It's Christmas time in Disney World. We used to park here all the time during Christmas because before it gets really busy, the second week of December, they actually would let cast members park here, even if they weren't working. Like in cast member parking. In cast member parking, which was crazy, and that's why like this smells like, like this is gonna smell like the college program to me, and I haven't smelled it in six years. Look at this. They got flooring down, cherry picker, established 1999, gingerbread house. Construction and decorating. Our 19th year opens up November 15th at 9.30 a.m. So there's actually, if you've never seen this, there's it's made of real, it's a real gingerbread house. And there's actually a store inside of it where you can buy the gingerbread shingles. And like, you could go up and eat that if you wanted to. I lost Sarah. She's over here. And look at all this free space where the piano's moved. Look at all the room for activities, Sarah. I'm gonna try to zoom in. The little porch with the little Santa Claus on there. Oh, guys, there's Christmas lights. Sarah's like quietly in awe, and the castle's lit. We weren't sure if that was going to happen because it was lit yesterday for the filming and it's going to be lit tomorrow because of officially, officially with like the with the show and everything because of the first Christmas party is tomorrow but we're not going tomorrow we're going Friday don't forget So Sarah's going to see it all for the first time oh! You see the top? I feel like they've changed the way they did it from <laughs> <laughs> Since our college program, they kind of changed up how they light it. The actual. I don't think I've seen how they actually light it. Since the college program. It is. They won't let us go hug it. That's what we wanted to do. Yeah. That's next. We step. wanted to hug it, but they they cut us off over here. I don't. Is it like it's that early? That they're getting ready for the fireworks. Let's. Do you want to go see if there's any decorations anywhere else? Sure. Wow. If this wasn't a Christmas miracle already. Between seeing the Christmas lights, sir. Water is back in Splash Mountain. Not down the hill. Yeah, not going down the hill, but it comes back. Wait, it comes back what? The 17th. The 17th. We gotta come here on the 17th. Is that a weekend day or a weekday date? That is... It's a Saturday. That's Dapper Day. Oh, <gasps> yes. We're gonna run here first thing in the morning on Dapper Day and go on it. I still see construction lights up there, I think. There she blows. Splash Mountain looks extra full. It's hard to tell for through the camera at night, but like she is extra full. But you can see that there's no water coming down the drop or up that that little chute. But just another week or another ten days? Until it's back up, yeah, nine days. Nine days until it's back up. Single that means we have single digits to get our dapper day outfits. 
She called me. Try to order them tomorrow. What are we being? Haha. <laughs> We're making plans over here. For Dapper Day? We're making plans for Dapper Day. For a Friday when we're at the house for the Christmas party. So much hot chocolate, so many sugar cookies. So on our house program, the cookies were either snickerdoodle or sugar. And I hear that they jam sugar in them. They got sprinkles which is making them like off. This is the longest wait. We've ever waited for Voyage of the Mermaid. Yeah, go Little Mermaid. Look at this. Look at they 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 brought the walls down at Cosmic Rays and there's so many so much more seating here. It looks great. Tyler, how great is this? And we we ran into Tyler. Oh hello. Show show everybody I used your. Used to work right there. You used to work right there. So this is all new. Show everybody your phone. 3 a.m. was up and at it. Day one got it. Worth it. Skipped work to wait for the UPS truck. Skip work. You're gonna get fired. Skip work. I know you did. Uh-oh, she's getting her Christmas party swag on. This is hot, guys. I love it, but it's hot. There's no good choice for me. I think I'm stuck with mine. You have, like, your ears from... Some, a really cheesy pair from the Disney store. I say cast member on them. Yeah. I'll stick with these, I think. Maybe you need a Christmas baseball hat. Maybe. So let's see them. She's ready for the Christmas season. That's so much better. Do we want to go this way? Yeah. There's the new the new like facade to the front of this the Main Street building. Look at this shirt. Can you buy that shirt inside? Yep. <gasps> I need that shirt. Tricks, pranks, and puzzles. It is incredibly busy. Look at this. Look at this. Main Street is packed. It is so busy. We're, we were gonna try. Oh. We came to the train station because the train's no way. Yeah, we can go here. Sarah snagged us a spot right on Main Street. Say everybody. Oh, she's feeling it now. Don't don't you think it's it's we didn't give it enough chance to watch it from the middle of Main Street. No, that was our first time. That was the first time we watched it this far back where we were right by the the, um, the theater and it was super good. Like you we couldn't make like, out all of the you couldn't see all of the projections. Because we know it so well it was like dumb. But the bigger projections we could see from the back and it was so much better than being so close like we usually are. I still, that's my favorite spot up close, but we loved it back there. And it was reminiscent, that's the, like, pretty much the exact same spot we saw Disneyland forever. Yeah. When we and were. They, they like originated those cool like spotlights. They really. always say that that reminds us of that. Yes. So shout out to all the Disneylanders with the 60th anniversary fireworks. Do we like my ears? We love them. They're uh, Christmassy, like but not tan. over Christmassy. You are tan. We live in Florida, the Sunshine State. Kidding me? You got it. Yes, it's magic. We What's went. We we, we went on Seven Dwarfs Mine Ride, and as the, the loop where my hat flew off, we did that same curve. My hat just fell on my head. Not quite. Not quite. No, we met up with two two of our fans that are now like our best friends, and they um they actually found this head on eBay, and they just like were compelled to get it for me. And I'm literally. One of the nicest things anybody's ever done because the emotional connection i have with this head is oddly strong 
So thank you so much. Um, we really appreciate it. I said thank you to you guys like a million times tonight, but I cannot thank you enough. And it was great meeting you. Thanks for talking to us about all the Disney history and Disney love. And uh, I don't even know if they're on, you guys are on vacation now, so I don't know if you'll I see this. I wouldn't even call them our fans. They're no, they're just, just our friends. We've been, we've been commenting back and forth with them from the start. From, from like, from, five yeah, from seven, before so. this channel, before the move. So thank you for that, and we'll make sure we see you guys before you go back to California. If you happen to see this before, if you watch us at home, I, uh, welcome home. Hope you had a good vacation. Hope the travels were safe. And thank you again. So I have a bone, bone to pick with my wife here Hi. we almost went this is actually a bone to pick with myself <laughs> because we I booked on our February trip of this past year booked us high tea at Grand Floridian because we've always wanted to do it get a little tea and crumpets and we've always wanted to and we booked it and then Dom and Victoria ended up like our vacation overlapped with their vacation and so we chose to cancel the high tea to spend more time with Dom and Victoria um, which is fine. Which is perfect. We wouldn't have done it any other way. But now I keep forgetting that high tea is like hard to get into. It's like it is one of those things like 90 days out of your vacation, people are waking up at 8 a.m. to book. Because I'll randomly go on there and be like, let's just see about doing high tea this weekend or tomorrow night. And it's like never available. But I really want to do it. We are home. Sarah was had a little snooze in the car right home. It was good. But we had to stop at Walgreens. So I want to tell you something about us. We used to live in downtown Chicago. Now I don't know if anybody out there has lived in a downtown city or if Chicago's, I, don't, I, doubt, I highly doubt Chicago's the only one that did this, but we lived in our first apartment the first 12 months we were married in downtown Chicago, like East Lakeview, near Boys Town, amazing neighborhood, very close, like downtown, but a little outside of like the loop. Um, we had grocery stores nearby, but being in such like a hustle and bustle downtown area, the 7-Elevens and the Walgreens were like, no, they were like grocery stores in themselves. Like you could buy makeup, you can get like your hair blown out at a, Wal at a Walgreens. There was a, a multiple ones that we lived by that were two floors, wine sections, makeup sections. So we got very accustomed to when we first got married, stopping by really quick for quick items, a quick dinner, buy produce even at a 7-Eleven running into a 7-Eleven really quick or running into Walgreens. I don't think we've ever shaken that. So like there's a Walgreens right by our apartment and I'm like, oh, let me stop in there really quick. On the way home, like I need hair gel. And so we stopped in there and I picked up some hair gel and I also picked up some Dr. Pepper confession and two boxes of candy canes. I think I might bring one to work. I haven't decided it yet. But it's Christmas time and I think I, this is like late in the game for me to get my peppermint, my candy cane on because I want to say I bought those in like September of last year, maybe. I just kind of hit them, but still enjoyed them. All right. Sarah fell asleep. It's late. Got a busy Thursday tomorrow at work. Got some meetings going on tomorrow and some big ones on Friday. So looking forward to the weekend very much, not just because of the Christmas party on Friday, but Kennedy Space Center we're going to on Sunday. Five-year-old Peter in me is freaking out. We're going to Kennedy Space Center on Sunday and I cannot wait. But before I go to bed, I wanted to show you that we tried these Walker Chips prawn cocktail. Please let us know down below what a prawn cocktail flavor is. Don't know. It's pretty good. Um, but I don't know what it was. So please let it, if you know what prawn cocktail is, please put it down below in the comments. Um, besides that, thank you for following us on our adventure today. Um, it was just a nice old classic Magic Kingdom holiday filled one. Thank you for watching any of these vlogs. We greatly appreciate it. Um, we, as we meet you in the parks or through the comments or through Twitter, it's always amazing to interact with everybody because this is just fun for us. We'd be doing this without the vlog or with the vlog or whatever, but it's we've really, really appreciated the like the little community that we have started to meet. So we really appreciate it. And uh, we just want to show you guys that we love it too. So thank you. And with that, from both me and Sarah, because Sarah's asleep on the couch, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>